Okay, so I'm taking two vectors. First vector is two comma three, and second vector is one comma two. And these two vectors are in the vector space R two. Okay, I've drawn the picture of these two vectors. Now what we will do is we will consider a linear combination. We will consider a linear combination of v1 bar and v2 bar and equate it to zero and equate it to zero vector. Okay, v1 times some constant c1 plus v2 times some constant c2 is equal to the zero vector. What are c1 and c2? c1 and c2 cannot be vectors. c1 and c2 have to be what? c1 and c2 have to be scalars because in vector space, Scalar multiplication is allowed. Vector multiplication is not allowed. So C1 and C2 are vector scalars and they belong to the field R. Means they are real numbers. And now I will write the two vectors. It is C1 times what is vector V1? The vector V1 is 1, 2 plus the C2 times the vector V2 is 2, 3. And I will write it as zero vector is zero comma zero. Here you have your zero. This okay. Try to solve this means what? I will try to find the values of C1 and C2. Okay. So this means two C1 comma three C1 plus one C2 comma two C2 is equal to zero zero. Therefore, I will get when I add the first component with the first component, I will get 2C1 plus C2 comma 3C1 plus 2C2 is equal to 0, 0. Therefore, I will get 2 when I compare them when I compare these two vectors. I understand that the first coordinate is also 0 and the Second coordinate is also 0. 2C1 plus C2 is also 0. And 3C1 plus 2C2 is also becoming 0. Now I will solve them simultaneously. When I solve them simultaneously, Multiply the first equation by 2, so I'll get 2c1 plus 2c2 is 0 and 3c1 plus 2c2 is 0. So when I subtract them, I will get c1 is equal to 0. And when I substitute in any of these equations, 2c1 plus c2 equal to 0 will become 0 plus c2 is equal to 0. And therefore, I will get c2 is also 0 and c1 is also 0. Why this happens? Okay, that is nothing but the definition of linear independence. So let me now write the definition of linear independence of two vectors. If v1 bar and v2 bar are two vectors in a vector space, and if c1 v1 bar plus c2 v2 bar is zero, implies C1 and C2 both are zero. 
then the two vectors are called linearly independent. And the two vectors are called linearly independent in vector space in the vector space V and the set V1 bar V2 bar is called linearly independent set linearly independent 